welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really quick uh, tutorial on this look um, for the month of October which is Cancer Awareness Month. So I, go, I went ahead and decided to create a look for you guys that would be easy and quick. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, uh, just keep on watching. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to recreate this eye look or this eye on this eye. I don't know if that makes sense. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to recreate it. And as you guys uh, could kind of see, I already applied my foundation and my concealer. And um, I already went ahead and set my foundation. Um, I'm just trying to cut time um, because the whole foundation routine, the eyebrows, concealer, it takes a while. Or a long time and um, you know I've done that on my other tutorials so I, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the chase pretty much and get started with the eye uh, we're gonna be using three eyeshadow first thing that we have to do is actually um, prime our eyes and I'm gonna be using um, soft ochre from uh, Mac or you can you know you can use any um, any primer you have available it doesn't matter as long as you prime your eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, Sigma Concealer F70. And I'm going to go ahead and um, just dip it in and um, prime my eyes. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and get this um, 217 from MAC. And we are going to go ahead and grab our Pretty Rebel Palette from Too Faced. And opening it up, we're going to go for Totally Fetch, which is right here. It's a beautiful hot pink um, eyeshadow. And we are going to go ahead and get started with the eye. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply it all over the uh, crease. Okay, as you guys can see, um, it is very, very intense. So after we blend it out, it's gonna kind of, um, it's gonna kind of uh, look much softer. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a Sigma Tapered Blending uh, Brush, which is an E40, and we're gonna go ahead and um, blend this um, eyeshadow that we just applied. Hey guys, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, the most important thing to get a nice eye look is to blend, blend, blend. That's all you have to do is blend. Um, take your time blending. It does take a while, but if you don't blend your eyeshadows, trust me, they are not going to look good. As you guys can see, it kind of softens a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and go in with the... Uh, large shader brush it's an e6 um, e60 from um, Sigma and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and get ring uh, leader is it yeah ring leader right here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my catwalk palette and I'm gonna go ahead and get scout right there and I'm gonna mix them both together because this is gonna go on um, our lids So you guys can see, it's a very, very beautiful uh, mixture of those two eyeshadows. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is the leftover that you have on that brush, go ahead and use it for your, um, for your brow bone. So I'm going to go ahead and take my um, eyelash curler, uh, curl my eyelashes, and then we're going to go ahead and apply the, the falsies, we, uh, which actually I don't know what falsies these are. They're just number 415 from a brand called Creme. I believe uh, that's how you say it. Cream or Creme. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and apply the um, eyelash and uh, I will be right back with you guys so you guys can see uh, how the eye is coming along. Since I am not applying um, or I didn't put any eyeliner, I try to apply my eyelashes, the falsies, um, as close as my eye, um, to my eyelash as possible, just so it can look a bit more natural. So that's what I went ahead and, and did for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this um, flat uh, brush. It's 
from Rite Aid. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this um, Totally Fetch and I am going to go ahead and apply it on. So I'm going to also go ahead and grab the same brush and I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more of uh, ringleader and a little bit more of scalp and just kind of apply it in the um, inner corner of my eyes. Just a tad bit, not too much. What I'm going to do since I want my eyes to look very, very bright, open, I'm going to go ahead and apply this NARS Larger Than Life um, eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my um, waterline. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab um, blush. Um, it is called Fleur, uh, Fleur Power, I believe. So I'm gonna, it's, it's a very beautiful uh, pinky uh, blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that and apply it on, the, on my cheekbones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this big fluffy brush. I believe it's a blush brush. Yes, it's a blush brush from Royal Techniques. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my uh, apples of my cheeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other cheek because I had not done this side. And as you guys can see, it's just a beautiful uh, pinky uh, blush. So also what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this MAC Mineral Life Skin Finish in Lust, which I think it was a limited edition, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit of um, highlight I'm going to just go ahead and add this to my cheekbones. So I'm going to go ahead and grab just a tiny bit and just apply it right here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And pretty much that's it on the face. Now final um, step is lips obviously. I'm going to go ahead and go with a Good Kisser uh, from MAC. And um, I'm, you could either leave it the way um, it's going to set, because this is a matte um, lipstick, or you can apply a, a lip gloss. I'm going to go ahead and apply a lip gloss afterwards. Okay, so there's the lips. And you could, you could choose to go nude if you want on the lips or, or a softer pink. So what I'm going to use for a, a lip gloss is this um, Gerard Cosmetics uh, Rose Hill. Um, I will be having a, a short review on these lip glosses uh, pretty soon, hopefully um, by next week. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my lips. And it's just going to give you a beautiful, uh, bright, uh, rosy pink uh, lip. So this is, the, this is the pretty much the look that I was going for for Cancer Awareness Month. Um, off for October obviously so um, I was really hoping that um, you guys would have, you know you guys would like something different on my channel so this is the final look guys I really hope that you guys enjoyed uh, the video tutorial on the eyes um, sorry that I had uh, I didn't include the face the foundation um, face routine or concealer um, I just wanted to cut down on time, uh, like I told you guys. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I hope you guys subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!